Hi everyone, my name is AD and welcome back to Art Spot Online, the online version of the free weekly drop-in art making program for children and families at the Tampa Museum of Art. Today we're going to make a moving, wiggly paper octopus sculpture based on an ancient Greek vessel from the Antiquities Collection. What we're looking at is a black figure Lekathos. It's Greek and it's from around 540 to 530 BCE. This kind of Greek pottery is known as a lekathos. A lekathos is a specifically shaped vessel used to store olive oil. Olive oil was considered sacred in the ancient world because it was such a useful substance in everyday life. In ancient Greece, it was an important and nutritious part of their diet, uh, and it was believed to have many uses as a medicine too. They use it for cosmetics, uh, like we still use it today to preserve other foods. Uh, they even used it as fuel for lighting. These everyday practical objects were often decorated with images of things from the sea, as the sea was an important source of food, as well as a kind of highway used to connect the many islands of what we know today as Greece. And it's funny, the, the octopus that we're looking at does have this kind of highway vibe, with its tentacles curling almost like um, off-ramps. So it's a lekathos, right? Now we know what that means. Um, why do we call it a black figure lekathos? Well, as you could probably guess, it's because it has mostly solid black figures and designs painted onto this natural red orange color of the clay that the vessel is made from, right? So we're not looking at orange painted on a black thing, we're looking at black painted on an orange thing. So this mostly solid black painted design on this lekathos includes this large black octopus with these neatly curling tentacles uh, and surrounding the octopus are these three dolphins, right? So once you realize those are dolphins, that's when you realize, okay, this octopus is actually humongous. Um, above the eyes of the octopus is this reddish circle, which is possibly the mantle of the octopus, uh, the part of the body that protects the important organs and helps the octopus move. Another cool thing to notice about the octopus is in the way that the tentacles curl, it, it reminds us of the kinds of abstract designs that we see all over the place in ancient Greek pottery. If you remember back to episode one of Art Spot Online, we learned how to draw these meander patterns. This is a really kind of similar visual motif. And one other thing I think is really cool about the octopus is how modern it looks. This doesn't immediately look to me like something that is over, you know, 2,500 years old, right? This looks like a cute cartoon that you could see in an animation that came out this year. So inspired by this really kind of vivacious, quirky octopus, we're gonna make these fun paper octopus sculptures that move, that sway in this really kind of funny way. So for this project, all you're gonna need are a couple sheets of construction paper, a glue stick, scissors, and something colorful to draw with. So let's make a paper octopus. Get one sheet of construction paper and draw the mantle shape. It's basically gonna be one large circle at the top, then you're gonna have a small oval underneath for the eyes and then another small oval. This is gonna be where we attach the tentacles. This is just the back of the octopus so you can be messy while sketching it out. Next, we're gonna cut out the mantle and then we're gonna use whatever kind of drawing media you want to draw the eyes and some designs in the mantle. I based mine on the kind of natural bloopy shapes that are created where the pigment is chipping away. Uh, but if you're unsure of what to draw, how about swirly patterns that remind you of the sea? Mine ended up kind of being like that too. So next what we need to do is we need to get a bunch of thin strips of construction paper to turn into the tentacles. An easy way to do this is to cut your construction paper, which by the way, you can use mix-ups of tons of different colors. You can make them all the same color like me. But what you wanna do is you wanna get some six inch by six inch squares of paper that you wanna use for the tentacles. If you want it to be like mine, you'll need eight of these. Once you have your square pieces of construction paper, you wanna fold it in half, cut it in half along that guideline, and then you want to turn each of these into three strips. Don't worry about them all being exactly the same size. You'll see pretty quickly when we start putting them together, you're not going to notice at all. So we're then going to use these strips to create four paper chains that we're going to use for the tentacles. If you've never made a paper chain before, all you need to do is take one of your strips, put some glue on this end over here, and then fold it over to create a ring. Next, you're going to grab another strip, 
put glue in the same spot, but before you make it into a ring, you just pass it through the ring that you made before, and then boom, you have two linked together. Now, as you're watching me do this, the video has been sped up, right? So it's like a da 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 da, -da the chain's coming out really fast. But this ends up actually being a really relaxing, meditative thing to do. So definitely don't rush, take your time. It's a nice chance to kind of relax and zone out and just make something for a while without thinking about it too hard. So once you have all your chains, I think the best way to do this is to just take a stapler and staple each of your chains to the body of the octopus that you drew. You're definitely gonna need some extra support. The paper chains are surprisingly heavy, especially if you decided to go super extra and make your tentacles super extra long or you added you know, a full eight tentacles to your octopus. They're gonna be pretty heavy, so you need some extra reinforcement. If you don't have a stapler, a hot glue gun works just as well. After the tentacles are attached, you're done. Definitely kind of play around with it for a little bit and see the kind of interesting movement that it can create. It really almost has the same kind of motion as an octopus underwater, right? As the tentacles are passing through the air, they kind of wiggle about in a really, in a similar way. Um, the cool thing about these is that you can basically add onto them forever. So you could pin it up in your room and just add to it over time. You really could create a chain that just went on forever if you wanted to. All right, that's this week's Art Spot. Thank you so much for learning and making with the Tampa Museum of Art. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming episodes, and I'll see you next week.